my channel. I have a really quick Dollar Tree haul I want to share with you. Now, you know I don't do very many Dollar Tree hauls, and when I do do one, it's usually things that I want to show you that's definitely worth a trip. I don't show you paper plates and things like that because everybody knows they have those. But I did find seven things that are a little unusual that I thought that you might uh, like to know they have them there. Now, the first thing I picked up was for my grandson. This is called a yokai watch. You know, if you have little ones, you may have heard of this. Um, it's some kind of Japanese little character that the kids are crazy about now. And it says yokai watch. That's the name of it. It's not an actual watch. This is actually one of the little figurines. It is $3.99 at Walmart. And, they, and I've seen them in a couple different Dollar Trees for a dollar. So I picked him up. I don't know who the characters are. I just picked, my granddaughter picked one out for her brother. So we're going to take that to him uh, this afternoon. Uh, I've got a exciting girls trip planned in a couple weeks where uh, I got two of my closest friends. Uh, we're turning 50 this year, all three of us, and it's 50 and fabulous, and we are doing a week of Disney. So I picked up a couple things I needed for Disney. Uh, of course, if you are a uh, Familiar with the way Florida works, you need some kind of rain poncho, but it tends to rain a lot of afternoons there. So, you know, sometimes these are kind of hard to find, especially when you're looking for them. But I did, after two Dollar Trees, I was able to find one. But uh, just a real cheapy uh, rain poncho. And another thing is the Banana Boat sunscreen. You know, this is something that you definitely need to carry in your little carry-on bag when you're in the parks and I, what I love about it is it's small you don't have to carry the huge tube with you even if you buy a couple tubes to last the week you just don't have to carry around that big old tube of sunscreen and with my fair skin I have to have it uh, I saw someone haul this a few days ago it's one of those acrylic organizers they have several different sizes they had one that had nine squares I actually ended up finding one that was the 16 square and it's perfect to store your essential oils and I thought that was great a lot of mine are still in the boxes and things and I just thought what a great way that's a great idea so I actually did find one uh, the nine square would work fine, but uh, the 16 would, is more ideal and will fit the bottle snugly. So the 16 compartment uh, organizer. All right, let's see. The next thing I picked up, I'm not a huge reader anymore like I used to be, but I saw this book and just thought it sounded really interesting and I can... I can read it on the plane or, or during my trip. And it's by Haley Pomeroy. Never heard of her, but the book is about why your scale is stuck and what to eat about it. It's called The Burn. And so I'm really anxious to see what she has to say. That's the story of my life the last few months. You know, I've been really diehard, low carbing it. And I'm just, after about 10 pounds, 10 to 12 pounds, I'm at a standstill. The, the scale will not budge. I'm not gaining, but I'm not losing. And, you know, maybe my body is changing shapes a little bit. Not sure. But if you're interested in that, it's called The Burn. So I'm anxious to read that. Two more things. Pick this up. Thought this was so cute. This little mason jar. And it's got a little screw on lid with a little uh, tea light holder in it. How cute would this be for a wedding? You could spray paint the black part white, or uh, you know, you could make it patriotic, or you know, there's and they also sell, I don't know if Dollar Tree sells it, but they do sell the citronella tea lights. So I just thought that's cute for any kind of summer party with it being the mason jar shape. Super cute. And last but not least, the cutest thing that I found was this coffee mug. How cute is this? They had several to choose from. They had one that I couldn't decide if it was a hedgehog or a porcupine, but either one, they looked very similar. So if you like one of those two little animals, you would love that coffee mug. And they had a couple different foxes. They had a gray fox and this red fox, but I just could not resist this. The last thing I need is another coffee cup, but this was so stinking cute. I couldn't pass it up, but just to hold pins in or to even make some kind of arrangement for somebody, uh, you know, the uh, just so cute. The handle is the tail and I picked up the red fox. So short and sweet, but definitely worth the trip. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.